Now, President William Ruto has come under heavy attack of a threat to deal with what he called rogue judicial officers. Chief Justice Martha Kome, as well as Azimio leader Raila Odinga, blasted Ruto over his remarks, terming the sustained assault on the courts as a path to anarchy. And the CJ, in a hard heating statement, defended the judiciary, calling on the president to respect the rule of law and constitutionality. Raila, on the other hand, castigated the president for overstepping his mandate and told Kenyans to remain vigilant against sliding into the dark days. KTN's Emmanuel To reports. We will protect the independence of the judiciary. What we will not allow is judicial tyranny and judicial impunity. Just a day after launching a scathing attack on judiciary calling some judges corrupt, Chief Justice Martha Kome has come out guns blazing, firing salvos at the head of state for what she calls setting the stage for anarchy in the country. In a statement sent to newsrooms Wednesday evening, Kome said, and I quote, declarations of corruption in public events and activities without corresponding procedural reporting mechanisms exposes an institution such as the judiciary to public suspicion and distrust. She adds that, quote, this trend, if led to continue, will break down the governance structures set up by the Constitution exposing Kenya to anarchism as opposed to democratic reverence and the rule of law. Kome adds that attacking judges and judicial officers who made a decision in the public undermine all the values of our constitutional order. Kome then directed President Ruto to seek redress at the appellate court if he is dissatisfied by the decision of the lower courts. The CJ adds, and I quote, when state or public officers threaten to defy court orders, the rule of law is imperiled. And on corruption allegations, Kome advised that any concerns regarding misconduct or corrupt acts should be channeled to the Judicial Service Commission. The statement by the Chief Justice was also echoed by the Law Society of Kenya, which has organized peaceful protests against the attacks on the judiciary. We call upon all our members of the Law Society of Kenya, starting next week, to don purple ribbons throughout the week and join in peaceful protest countrywide. It is imperative that as the head of state, he must comply with the constitution where he has evidence of corruption within the judiciary. We are reminded of a saying in the African setup that before a hyena eats its children, it always accuses them of smelling like gods. The condemnation from the bench and the bar was also supported by the Kenyan Magistrates and Judges Association, which called on Kenyans to stand up for the Constitution and the independence of the judiciary. The outrage from the judiciary also received the support of the opposition, as the Azimio Moja one Kenya leader, Ray Lodinga, also joined in the fray. Having captured Parliament, Ruto now wants to intimidate, subdue, and capture the judiciary. We want the judges not to hear cases against his policies, dismiss such cases, or always rule in his favor. Odinga cautioned the head of state against taking the country back to the dark days when judges were persecuted for handing the executive and savory orders. Kenyans know we have seen days when judges got transferred, sucked, or even got poisoned for delivering rulings that did not favor the state. Ruto wants to return us to that era of terror. Others who have blasted President Ruto over his remarks are senior counsels Barr, who said the statement must be condemned by all law-abiding citizens. Emmanuel Toh, KT News, Nairobi. President William Ruto's hard-hitting statement targeting the judiciary 